What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing a burst fade and I'm gonna show you guys my exact steps I do to achieve this look. I'm gonna go into detail and show you guys exactly how I do this. Other than that, let's get right into it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, he wants a six all around, so we're gonna start off by doing a number six. Make sure you comb through his hair, that way all the hairs are laying down. And that way we get all the little hairs that are laying down underneath. Make sure you comb it through first before running the, the clipper with it. Keep in mind, this is a number six guard. Just make sure you keep it nice and consistent all around his head. So right here is I grab my number, it's my number two guard, and I start off with the lever open and I quarter about a, I close it about a quarter. You can you can do it fully open if you want to. It honestly doesn't really make a difference. I'm just used to doing this. So just make sure you you keep uh we're gonna we're gonna give it that burst uh fade effect, kind of like a mohawk, and we're just debulking right now. These are the easiest steps to do a burst fade in my opinion because it allows you to keep it nice and compressed. So right here what I'm doing is I'm getting my, my baby list trimmers. These are zero gap. They don't gotta be zero gap. You can use whatever you, you uh, have. It can be the detailers, the andes. Just setting your first ball guideline in a rainbow shape. If you do have them zero gap, it will help it uh, bring it down closer to the skin obviously. And that way you don't have to go back um, or you don't have to struggle with the shavers because we are gonna do it skin. Make sure you pull down that ear. Don't be afraid to pull down that ear. It don't hurt your client. Just make sure you get all those little baby hairs. The last thing you want is to leave all those little tiny baby hairs. And the client really does not like that and it looks really terrible. So right here, I grab my baby list shavers and we're just gonna take it all the way down to skin. You can go all the way to the top. Uh, just don't put a lot of pressure. Just let the clipper do the work. The more pressure you put, the harder it's gonna be to take out that line. So just let the clipper do the work or the, the shaver. And you should be good. So for our first step, we're going to come in with our number one guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to create about an inch guideline. Remember, this, this guideline is going to be your foundation. So if you make this guideline bigger, your blend's going to be a lot longer, a lot more spread it out. If you make it shorter, it's going to be um, really compressed. So just follow the head shape. And um, I, I recommend at least an inch, close to an inch, but just make sure it's down it's all the way down to a number one garden it's like we're sanding down the hair basically so you don't have to flick just keep the blade flat Right after we do that with the number one guard, we're gonna come in with our half guard, lever fully closed, and you're gonna copy the same thing you just did with the number one guard. Don't make it harder on your guys yourself, just keep the blade flat and do the same thing. We're softening up this, this guideline basically, but you're copying the same thing. Take it to all the way to the top, just how we did with the number one guard. So right here, I come with my, these are the Oster's Fast Feeds. The reason I like using these for the bottom line, we're taking out that bottom line now. The reason I like using these is because you can hear everything you cut with these. It's kind of like the Masters. 
But I do have the ceramic blade on there. That way, it, 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 um, it makes a noise when it's cutting the hair. You can hear it, like, chip at every little ha hair strand. So these help me. I, rec I really recommend them with the ceramic blade to take out that bottom line for detail, basically. But you can use any type of clipper. This just this makes it easier for me. It keeps me from going too high or pushing up the fade. Because once I see it come out, I just let it be. That's the problem with a lot of people. Like, um, they uh, they struggle on this part the most. They they ask me how I take out the bottom line so smooth. This is how. It's because um, with the with these clippers. You can get down so close to like skin with the ceramic blade. Remember, you have to have the ceramic blade. And it keeps me from like uh, pushing up all the fades and doing stuff that you're not supposed to, basically. And right here, I just come with my, my zero gap trimmers. And I just clean up any little things that the clipper didn't get. Just to make it sure it's that much more smooth. So just come up and clean up with the, the zero gap trimmers and you'll be good. After we do that, we, we come back with the one and a half guard lever fully closed and we're gonna create about another inch guideline. Do the same thing you, d you do when setting your guidelines, keep the blade flat and just make sure it's nice and even consistent. Copy that. Go ahead and do that same rainbow shape and just make sure it's uh, even and down to the one and a half. Remember, instead of flicking a lot, just make sure you keep the blade flat like you're sanding something down basically we're sanding down the fade that's how we're going to create this buttery buttery look so now that we did the one and a half closed we're going to do the same thing but with the number one guard lever fully open you're going to take it you're going to copy the same thing you did with the one and a half Literally follow the same thing right on it. Just keep the blade flat and just start. We're going to start fading down now, basically. So right here, we're closing it halfway and we're gonna go just a little bit underneath. Remember again, keep the blade flat. And just do almost, basically almost all the way to the top again. Not quite, but just a little bit underneath. Just do the same thing. Now that we did that, we're gonna close it all the way and we're just gonna attack that middle ghost line. It's not really a line, it's just a tiny little faint line. In some cases, it might uh, take it out completely, but a majority of the time, it's not going to. Maybe like on some really light hair texture, it'll come off right, right away. You won't have to use the, the half guard. So now we're coming back to our half guard lever fully closed and we're just going to use our corners and attack the rest of the, 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 the middle ghost line. Keep in mind this, um, this is what's going to create that really butter, buttery effect. And right here you can, you can flick it more. You don't have to keep it completely flat, but you can do more of a flicky motion on here. Once you see it come out, just let it be. Don't, don't play with it too much because you're going to end up pushing up the fade. You gotta be careful. So now to fade into the bulk, we're gonna get our number two guard lever fully open and then I close it about a notch, which is just about a little quarter. And we're just gonna go straight up. Not really creating a guideline, we're just connecting everything together now.
Now we get our, we go back to our one and a half guard, lever fully open, and I, clo I close it about a notch. We're gonna do the same thing, basically. We're just gonna go a little bit more underneath, but the, basically the same thing, you can do the same thing. Just go straight up with it. So right here, our blend is completely done already, basically. We're just detailing now. Use your corner and dig into those, those dark spots that you see and just go uh, straight up with it. Go back down and just play with, play with anything you're unsatisfied with and just uh, flick, flick out. So right here, we're just smacking on the lineup. This is what's gonna make everything pop out even more. And just, uh, I start, I usually start in the middle and work my way to the right. And just um, clean them up and throw on a little bit of enhancements if you'd like. And on C cup, I just start to go where, where his hair gets darker and I'll just go from there. I keep the blade pretty straight at first and I start to curve it to get that nice C cup look. Right here, I'm adding my enhancements just a little bit. His hair's already dark, don't really need it. Make sure you stretch the skin when using the razor. Go against the grain, get a nice sharper, long lasting look right here. Make sure you just pull that skin. I do add a little bit of the white barber pencil just to give it the extra pop. My clients like it. If you're doing social media, this is the stuff you need to be doing if you're trying to get your name out there. But this is, this is what I would do every time I take pictures and everything and post it on Instagram. That way, it'll just give it a pop. You don't want to see um, all the boring stuff on Instagram. Like, you need to put something that's going to catch your attention. So doing that will allow you to, to really get your name out there and start putting out your work a lot more. So on this side, it's basically the same thing. Those are my steps on how I do a burst fade. Um... I'm gonna fast forward this this side for you guys. That way you guys can see the final result. I'm gonna have everything listed down below. That way you guys can uh, check out everything I used in this video to create this look. I'll have all the links down below. That way you guys can find everything um, I used. Now here's the before, just in case you guys forgot. This is what my client came in looking like. And this is the after the final product, the final result. Let me know what you guys think of the cut. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, that way you guys uh, get alerted every time I drop a new tutorial. I will be dropping every Monday. The whole goal is to help you guys um, elevate in this barber industry. I know the struggle. I've only been cutting for four years, and I really want to um, help you guys elevate in every aspect. DM me on my social medias at Noel Blends, TikTok, Instagram. That way we can interact, and um, if you guys have any questions, DM me on Instagram. And I'll be more than happy to answer and help you guys. Other than that, this is the final cut. 
Comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.